WWE wrestlers have to stay in shape, otherwise this is what happens to them. In 2011, Karma debuted in WWE. She was like nothing fans had seen before, and it seemed like WWE had big plans for her. However, a few weeks after she debuted, Carmella revealed she was pregnant and needed to leave. Sadly, she suffered a miscarriage, which caused her to fall into depression and gain weight. Karma did return to WWE at the 2012 Royal Rumble, but was fired not long after. The reason was due to her weight and not being in shape to wrestle. Thankfully, Karma, or Awesome Khan, did bounce back and continued her wrestling career outside of WWE. Rikishi made his WWE debut in 1992 and spent the next roughly seven years going through a handful of different characters and gimmicks. However, he re-debuted in late 1999 as Rikishi. He had noticeably put on weight compared to his previous runs in WWE, and while not an issue at first, it would become one. As time went on, Rikishi started to get heavier and heavier. It got so bad that WWE started asking Rikishi to lose weight. Either he didn't lose enough, or the requests were flat out ignored, because in July 2004, Rikishi was fired from WWE. Now, you're gonna have an opinion about this one. In 2009, it was reported that Mickie James got in trouble with WWE. Part of the reason was they felt like her performance in the ring was getting worse, but the other was that she was gaining weight. This was back when the number one priority for WWE's women's division was their looks, so just gaining a bit of weight was enough to get any female WWE wrestler in trouble. To punish her, WWE put Mickie James in a storyline where Michelle McCool and Layla started calling her Piggy James. They mocked James for her weight, and Mickie herself felt the whole thing was meant to humble her. James would end up leaving WWE not long after this and wouldn't return until 2016. Despite being a controversial character, Eugene managed to connect with WWE fans right away when he debuted in 2004. He spent three years at the company until being let go in 2007. However, in 2009, Eugene was rehired by WWE. However, his return was extremely short, only having one match on TV before he was let go again. According to Didsmore himself, when WWE fired him, they said, quote, we're not selling fat, old Eugene. You're fired. This one is flat out sad. You might not remember Sage Beckett, and WWE probably prefers you don't. She got signed in early 2017 and mainly wrestled at non-televised WWE events. Beckett was fired in March 2018, and a few years later, the former WWE wrestler revealed why. WWE had her do weekly weigh-ins, and despite losing an impressive 130 pounds, it wasn't enough for WWE. To throw salt into the wound, WWE fired Sage Beckett on International Women's Day. Prior to joining WWE, Adrian Adonis was a real mean, tough-looking wrestler. However, a few years after becoming part of Vince McMahon's company, Adonis started to gain weight. McMahon was not happy about this and gave Adrian a completely different character as punishment. Adonis became known as adorable Adrian Adonis and went on bleach blonde hair and a pink ring attire. Adrian managed to stay around for a few more years, but was fired in 1987 due to quote, dress code violations. You would have never thought this wrestler would have gotten fired for weight issues. Gangrel returned to WWE in 1988 after being an enhancement talent for a couple of years. He was joined by Edge and Christian as The Brood, and the team was a success. However, after The Brood ended, Gangrel started receiving less and less attention. At the same time, he began putting on extra weight. Gangrel's ring attire usually hid this, but during one match, the vampire's shirt lifted up, enough to expose his torso. This was noticed by WWE officials, and Gangrel was soon fired. Part of Yokozuna's WWE character was his size. The two-time world champion was supposed to resemble a Japanese sumo wrestler, which meant he had to be big. However, Yokozuna started to get too big. As he continued to wrestle, Yoko got heavier and heavier. Because of this, he would sporadically take time off to lose weight. However, it didn't work out, and weight became such an issue that Yokozuna wasn't able to pass a physical test. On top of that, Yoko had become so big that he was in danger of having heart issues. This was the breaking point, and WWE fired Yokozuna in May 1998. The former WWE star would spend about two and a half years wrestling on the independent Scene. However, in October 2000, Yoko would sadly pass away due to pulmonary edema. At his heaviest, Yokozuna weighed 641 pounds. However, there were wrestlers who were even heavier than that. To find out who they are, watch the video on screen.